good to have you with us. So tell us more about Mocha. This is one of the main supply routes for the Houthis. So the fact that the Yemeni armies recaptured it is a massive blow for the Houthis. It, it, it's a big blow for the Houthis in Ta'iz. I think uh, although that it, it's a big victory for Hadi's forces, we have to put this into context. It's been many months now that they've been trying to take the city of Ta'iz. We heard stories six months ago that they'd taken 90% of it and it seemed that Houthi was still uh, holding out. I think what Mocha demonstrates is a change in the approach of the coalition forces towards Houthi, in the sense that now they are giving uh, uh, some sort of credit to Houthi, that it is a genuine fighting force. No longer is there that arrogance that because we have superior weapons, we're going to win this fight within a couple of months. They're taking this war seriously now. It's a sign of a, a tactical improvement in terms of taking the port, preventing the smuggling of weapons to the Houthi fighters in Ta'iz, which will make the liberation of Ta'iz uh, much easier. I think in the overall scheme of things, uh, Houthi is still based in Sana'a, still based in Ma'rib, and these places are where the key battlefields will take place. But for the city of Ta'iz, it will be a major coup uh, for the Hedi forces if so, they manage to take it. I mean, do you think there will be a turning point in the battle now? Because, you know, we've had the Saudi-led coalition uh, fighting on behalf of the, the Yemeni army now for, what, nearly two years? And yet progress seems to have been really slow. If, if we're looking at it from a very objective uh, point of view and not in the case of trying to show this as a huge success for the Hadi forces. The reality is that even if Ta'iz falls and goes to the Hadi forces, geographically Sana'a is still some distance away. Ma'rib is still some distance away. We, we were talking of the fall of Ma'rib about eight months ago and Ma'rib is still not under the control of the coalition forces. So if it's taking this long to take Ta'iz and Ma'rib, imagine what the battle for Sana'a is going to be like where the Houthis are really fortified. What Mocha it's, it's fine for the Hadi forces to use it as a, a PR campaign to demonstrate that there's some success towards Houthi. However, the extent of this, uh, of this PR on Mocha demonstrates just how frustrated the coalition forces are with regards to fighting Houthi. That such a port, which is not as significant as Hudaydah, which is a major port where the Iranians are really supplying the weapons towards the Houthis. OK, and just very briefly, uh, any prospect of um, any kind of negotiations? Because obviously the outside world would prefer to see uh, a, a peaceful political solution rather than ongoing military action. The problem with, the, with the, the idea of negotiations and peace talks, until Houthi is removed from Sana'a, there can be no genuine peace talks because at the end of the day, it would put the coalition forces in the weaker position. Right. And it would force the world to acknowledge that a militia can take arms, can take over cities, take over the capital and force itself as some sort of legitimate authority. In the principles of democracy, it demands that Houthi must withdraw from the capital Sana'a for there to be Before any real chance of any reconciliation. Sami, thank you very much indeed for that. Thank Sami you. Hamdi there.